Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. Today we will discuss about component in Vue.js framework. I will definitely recommend you watch all my previous videos, mostly which are related to component, so that you will feel very comfortable watching these videos. So I am using Visual Studio Code if you are new to my channel and this is the, my you know uh, style sheet. So the Steve is a Chrome browser. I have made you trim down. This is my inspector. This is where I write JavaScript code. So all set in one page, right? <coughs> Okay, so let me uh, create one uh, child component. So in my first tutorial, I have explained what is global uh, component, what is child component. So let me create, uh, you know, child component template h1 on page. Okay. So today I'm planning to create a dynamic component. So dynamic component we can use using uh, component a. Okay, so this using this component tag, we can give the dynamic uh, tag, and here we can define a variable. Uh, sorry for that. So variable uh, template name. We can write anything. Okay. So here I am giving this name as home. So you can use template name or you can use view name or whatever maybe you prefer. So here there is a attribute is okay is is. So this component is home. This component is navigation. So we have to bind using v bind is is equal to. And remember, don't give this object name over here. Okay, it won't work. If you give home, it won't work. We have to give the variable name because dynamically we can change it based on certain criteria. So we can reload home page will come in here. So we can <coughs> create as many uh, number of you know navigation, for example. Okay, so let me copy paste over here. Navigation page. So if I change over here, okay, so sorry, uh, template name is any, any mistake. Name one, name one. Okay, uh, just let me try to get rid of name. Maybe is it a reserved keyword or something like that? Probably. Yeah, that's true. I think name is a reserved keyword or something like that. I don't know where why it is used. But if you use some different <coughs> name, so it should be just well and good. So let me give sidebar, right? So let me get the page. That means we define two child component. And we have uh, given name as home, we have given the name as sidebar, and we use template HTML over here. And this using this variable, we can manipulate, we can create buttons, we can create input tab. So for example, let me create a input, input, right? And type is equal to text V model we may give is equal to template okay let's, let, let us try how it's behaving okay sidebar is navigation so let me change it to h nothing is coming home home page right <clears throat> so the component is getting changed so this is quite powerful whatever the tag we have used h1 h2 or whatever maybe so this will be changed based upon the input tag over here Right, so instead of uh, how if you can give sidebar, so this navigation page is coming up. So we can use a list, we can use a bunch of HTML codes so only by clicking some buttons or URL or whatever maybe you like. So we can change this variable, and which in turn uh, will going to change this component. So this is quite powerful. So uh, let's see in this HTML tag what's happening. So this is uh, navigation page, right? So let me change it to see. It's a, if I type edge, this is getting uh, getting rid of this. If I type home, this H1 page is coming. But if you see the previous sidebar is gone. If I do sidebar, H1 navigation page is coming. But uh, if you like to, you know, keep alive, you don't want to get delete. Let's say keep. Alive, I'll just explain in a second. Okay, so let me reload it. 
So we have uh, sidebar navigation, we have home. So this, uh, <coughs> sorry, where it is? Okay. So this uh, particular keep alive will keep the switch out component in memory. It won't be available in this uh, rendering the scheme, uh, but it will be available inside the memory as a variable. So we, uh, you you won't notice it, but it will be available inside in you know, JavaScript variable and the view is just menace. So that whenever you switch it, it will take from the casing, right? Casing it will take it will uh, recompile. It won't re-enter again. So it will just change it. So that uh, that kind of uh, you know performance boost you can get using this keep alive. Okay, so I hope you have understood this. <clears throat> so how we can use this component? So let me just uh, quickly explain you some of the additional few small things about component. We can uh, create view component. We can create component in number way, right? TN example. Uh, okay, so I think I just missed a comma over here. Template. Hello there. Uh, I will explain few of the very basic attribute and some of those tips and tricks now uh, quickly. So I have created a simple template. So we can use tn ex. Okay. If I reload, hello there is coming up. And I also explained that we can write our template using template, right? And we can specify a ID over here. Uh, tn example maybe for example 2 so here vue component we can give tn ex2 this no need to be uh, same so we can give template and we can give bound symbol or has then tn ex2 uh, this is this and this needs to be same. Okay, this can be different So is to Second example So let me click use it tn ex 2 If I reload this So the second example also coming so we can also I have also explained you can watch my previous videos how can we create child template and so on. Also, let me explain one very simple way to define. You know, uh, so, if for example we have uh, tn ex and we define h1 header one inside the template. So as I said, you I have. Hello, there is coming up. Okay. Oh, I just uh, used it one more time. Let me get rid of it. Okay. Hello, there will be printed, but this header section won't be get printed. So this, whatever the HTML you write, is not going to use. If you define a slot over here, so we can use that. Okay, in that place. But if you like to use this inline template. So we can write one attribute on its inline template. Save it. So this will be gone, but this whatever the template will be uh, supplied over here that will use as this component template. But this will defeat the the main purpose of a uh, component to make you reusable. If you try to write all your HTML code over here, so it won't make reusable. But if you like to use once in a while. So you can you know try it. So the lot of people will define template in other framework using a script tag. So here also you can do that. In the script you can uh, define you know type 
is equal to text x as a template id you can give anything tn example 3 probably okay so let me change it uh, 3 to 3 so this 3 will should be made to this one and this can be different so here we can write you know uh, skip based uh, header template okay let me read out because I, I have not yet used it so let me tm es3 okay so there is no need to write anything over here this only text will be enough let me reload it see the script based header template so it is up to your preference how you would like to define whether you would like to define about the template or use a script text so it doesn't uh, create any issues okay so it is uh, for your comfort zone but uh, see, for example, you have some variable and you like to use this for as a static content, right? So you can use it by by giving a you know v once. Uh, we can define a template. So we can give v once. Okay. So this v ones can be used there won't be any change uh, in terms of look and feel of the thing but this is the static content what does it mean that it will it should compile it the template it should substitute with the variable and it should keep it in the case so that it won't be evaluated again and again it should be evaluated only once because the copyright footer bar or terms of condition so any study content usually you can use this v1 okay if you are really serious about performance tuning and all the thing so this is to keep an eye on so with this i think we have discussed a little bit elaborately about various components and come on think maybe i'll create some other tutorials to use reference as asynchronously component and some of the you know circular reference between components so those I feel is not very essential or needed at this moment, but I may create some other tutorial for covering that topics in you know advanced part. So thanks very much for watching my videos. Please like it or leave a comment. I'll definitely re uh, reply to you and subscribe to my videos. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.